Thanks, yeah, we'll sort it out. Border Barrels, back for another <laughs> week. Um, <laughs> just um, just before we went on air, um, Hudson denied our offer of a prostate exam here <laughs> live on the pod, so we won't be doing that today. Was it, was it foolish? Uh, yeah, well, we'll, so, we'll, never we'll soon see. He may have regrets, but just uh, timestamp this episode um, for that, and hopefully that'll come up later. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah. Just because he's got his paperwork, like he's Joe Biden. <laughs> You've <laughs> never had paperwork before, <laughs> I oh, think. I prefer, like, I have it on Shuffle my phone and I can't read it. And then I'll have it on the screen. I've got to change it. I no. think I just, if I'm reading a book, like audio book, of course, but like. How do you, how you read, read an audio book? book? Read the title. No, but like, I'd rather listen to an audio book, but it has to be the paper version of the book. That's yeah. what I prefer. I agree. And I sort of struggle a bit. Like you send me a PDF. I would just prefer that it was printed out and uh, mailed to me so I could read it. <laughs> oh, touch yeah. it with my hands. A very efficient system. Yeah. Well, it's not very efficient, but it's just the way I do things. You don't so. like trees. No. In other words. No, I hate, no. hate trees. Hate trees. Fuck hate them nature. trees. <laughs> as they say. Yeah, anyway. He hates women. But um, strap, you, strap yourself in. Um, because it's uh, it's my uh, brewery showcase this week, so we know that the uh, research will be poor, <laughs> and the presentation will also be poor. No, uh, no, I'm just not very good at it. I don't I don't enjoy it as much when it's my turn. You're making a comeback. But um, however, um, I am pretty excited about this uh, about this brewery. We went to um, we'll digress a little bit to start off with. We went to the Food and Wine Festival last night. I saw a few there. There was uh, what are we at Bridge Road, and there was. The boys from Mountain Monk and the bloody there, big delicious sour. That was good. Raspberry? Um, raspberry sour, yeah. yeah so was good. Bright were there. Who else we have there? Thirsty Middle Devil. was there. Thirsty Devil was there. So. And then a bunch of wineries. Bilson's, but yeah. no beer from Bilson's. No beers Only from Bilson's. Uh, sodas. But don't worry, we'll chase those down in the in the new year. Um, we definitely want to try those. Um, so this is a brewery that was not there. I was wondering where that lead is, yeah, if, it would, if it would link. Anyway. Forget yeah. everything I've said, because yeah, it doesn't relate. Said. But anyway, we went. It was good. Yeah. It was a good yeah, event. Yeah, it was good. And, was good and before you move on guys. too much, um, I will just do um, a little quick promotion of some of those new Mountain Monk beers. Punky was nice enough to give us a couple of samples during the week. But the, co- the cold IPA, mm. uh, if you want a summer, a nice <laughs> summer beer, well, the raspberry sour, of course, yeah. perfect. But if you're after a uh, uh, lager beer with a bit of hop, uh, please jump in. Made with Sabro as well. And yep. you do get a little bit of that sort of coconutty flavour by the end, but not overbearing at all. Refreshing. Delicious. Please seek it out if you can. Yeah, I'm I'm bloody... I'm looking forward to trying that one when I, when I saw that you had that. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, but, yeah, they've got bloody... Beers coming out their ears now, so it's good. And um, beers, beers, beers hey, out there. Finally ears. got a tagline. Yes, finally. There you go. Beers coming out our ears. So the brewery showcase this week. We're going quite the way north, up to the Brisbane area, and um, all the way to Capella Bar. If you're familiar with the suburb, no. you may not be. Clint Capella Bar. Yep, Clint Capella Bar <laughs> of the uh, Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> um, Bacchus Brewing Co. So that's how we're doing this week. So I've got one of their little tasty beers here. Now, I first had a Bacchus um, beer. I had one of their stouts, and they're pretty renowned for their stouts. Um, I had a few from the brewery, like yes. the, the brand, the brewery. There was the Pago Pago stout and whatever, and I was like, oh, these are absolutely outstanding. And I think Piercy um, from Beer Deluxe at the time may have um, given me the, um, the recommendation and said, Bloody throw one of these up your snout. So I gave it a, gave it a go. <laughs> just watch and that nose just, hair. Uh, yeah, just watch that nose hair. I can't wait to uh, give it the guys an update on that. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely delicious. So I'm pretty keen to bloody snap right into it. Well, I don't reckon we start with that one. Why? Well, because... Oh, controversy. Don't we normally... We've been IBU? doing it off IBU. Yeah, cool. All yeah, right. I swap, think the tropical IPA will be easier than the Challenger IPA. Oh, now you've just ruined it. Now everyone was wondering. They're waiting for the big reveal. Now they know two. There's of still them. one left. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's pretty exciting. Um, I, I'm pretty keen for these ones, uh, but I must put in a disclaimer to start off with. In doing my research, the deeper I got into, so I bought the beers, did the research. So probably not the right way to do it, because I am excited about these beers. But holy goodness, some of the other beers they do. There's about bloody two thousand others to choose from. Whoa! Oh. oh. That's pretty good. Did you give it it's a tap? Exci- it's excited too. It wants to get out of the can just as much as we wanted to go down our gullets. I do like how Hutto very early in the pod dropped an F bomb, which is fine. Did he? And then did I? Yeah, but then Simo followed up with a holy goodness. Yeah, I'm trying to cut down. And also, I think I'm it's not quite. Clearly. I think it's quite comical when you say other things. This is true. Mm. Anyway, it's not when a three year old does. I've got a three year old that keeps saying Jesus Christ when things happen, which oh. is actually very funny. That's yeah, yeah, it would be. 
It will be. Colour looks good. Oh. Yeah. Good areas in the Good colour. areas. Smell test. Now, Hopnado, help me out, Hutto. So, Sharknado, is that, they normally do movie references and that sort of thing. They might not yeah, necessarily okay. have it joined together. <laughs> I can read the blurb. Yeah, give us the blurb. Um, Brewer's Ramblings, they call it. Yeah. The huge vortex of hops swirling in our brew kettle on this brew look just like a hop tornado. There you go. Charged with a huge quantity of talus hops and then dry hopped with an eclectic mix of tropical cryo hops, citra, mosaic, sabro, eldorado, Idaho 7 and cryo hop. Oh, yeah. This unfiltered IPA deliver, oh, delivers a literal hop storm in a glass. Delicious. Yes, Delicious. that's pretty good. They're saying, they're saying all the right things there, I tell you what. Big... Uh, Nectarine on the nose, I reckon. Yeah, on the Straight nose away. there. Nectarine on the nose there. Let's see. Yeah. Ne- I don't ne- think it's the ne- same on one. The I think I'll just always have issues with the, with the nose hair situation. Now, I'm but gonna, you didn't oh. during the week or yesterday. No, geez, that smells good. That yeah, smells fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I wonder that is what, so good. I wonder what that is. It almost smells like um, candied something. Like it smells sort of like... Yeah. Yeah, there's something really sweet in there. That's absolutely delicious. Love the colour too. Did we want to, as an introduction, also read what I believe must be the blurb about the brewery that's on the can? Yeah, give it. Well, have you researched that, Simon? Nah, because I like I got other I got other stuff. I do I do have okay. that, but I think the can has a bit on there. Oh, you may have, did you say this already? Located oh. in Brisbane's Bayside suburb of uh, what did you say it was? Capella Bar. Capella Bar. I nearly said Capybara. Uh, we brew the most ele- uh, <laughs> eclectic range of beers in the country. From brewing, brewing classic styles to exploring and pushing the boundaries of what is beer, we strive to produce beers of consistent, high quality and balance and drinkability. Yeah. 7.1%, 375 mil can for yep. this Hopnado Tropical IPA. Uh, $13.50 from Hopheads. Yeah. Which is um, a new distrib- uh, new supplier for us on the pod. Yeah. Not as people, but on the pod. Breaking news. I love that blurb, by the way. I'm giving it a 4.5. It was a bit of fun. Told you exactly what's in it. Told you what to expect. Okay. I reckon this could um this could rate highly. This it's really good quality. It's absolutely delicious. And I've almost slammed it down in the <laughs> first two seconds. It's like you didn't work this morning. You're yeah, bloody mate. Keen for a beer. That's it. Yeah, it does taste better after. Right after I think I've said that. to you guys before about talus hop that um I had a single hop talus beer and felt quite bloated after. I think it adds heaps of depth to a beer. Um, and this beer has that, but then the the other notes from the other hops uh, sort of come in after. So you're getting this nice big hop bomb of, uh, well, like a, a tornado, you may say, <laughs> of, uh, of hop flavour. And it's bloody delicious, but also filling. I don't think we've said a beer is filling before, but if I was somewhere where I could only have one 375ml beer that day, this would be a perfect <coughs> one. It's bloody like you've had a couple. It's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's really nice. And you can also taste it's really good quality. It's like a decadent IPA without being a decadent. silly... Yeah, without being like a silly um, Sugarfield Stout or anything silly. Mm. Put it in a sentence. Do you want me to read some more stuff? Yeah. I'll, I'll, see, I'll tell you what I found out. So this is sort of it's a bit of an intro again, but different different stuff. Um, Bacchus, oh, let's have a look. Yep. Bacchus Brewing, one of the most unique and exciting breweries in the country. Specialising in bespoke brewing... For the trade and public, reproducing favourite styles, developing house brews, reviving ancient brews, and simply creating one-off unique beers from our bar and events around the country. All of our beers are made in... Um, oh, probably different now. Um, all of our beers are made in single keg batches on our steam-jacketed multi-vessel brewery, which enables <laughs> us to make up to 12 different beers a day. On Wait, average, we a are... Day? Pro- yeah. On average, we are producing three brand new beers every week. Um, nice. So... I, I was reading a Crafty Pint interview. It was from a while back. So, at the time of at the time of um, that it was written, Crafty Pint interview from 2020 mentions they brewed 2,000 unique brews at the time of writing. And when did you say they opened? Um, did you say? Did that have it written on the can at all? No, oh, 2005. I've got 2005. Yeah. 2005. Yeah, so, so in 15 years, they did 2,000 beers. Yeah, that's a lot. That's pr- that's prolific. And as I mentioned, eclectic, because, yeah, it is a pretty eclectic bunch of things. I'm, sub- I'm stunned by the That's 2005. That's 100, 134 beers 
a year. Yeah, different ones. That's yeah, I good. guess that checks out. That's three beers a week. Yeah, three beers a week for fifteen years. And they're and they're like that's every week. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. No Rome rebrews or anything <laughs> like that. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's what I've got on that. Beer's crazy. Mm. Yeah, brewery brewers and breweries <laughs> are crazy. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. That gotta be an artiste. Just to be creative enough to come up with all those. Oh, Grassy slammed his down. It was delicious. Yeah, we gave it a big 4.25 on Untapped. I guess it's pretty same. red, red hot out there. Oh, so, so I gave it a 4.25 as well. Yeah, no, that's that's very good. Universal rating. 4.25s all round. Yeah, that's that's great. It is also 28 <coughs> degrees today, so first warm day in about a week and a half. Yeah, I wasn't aware. Why did you say it today just, like it was, was a question? Hot. Today? Oh, because people won't listen to this today. I think so, well, that's okay. it's because it Zach's actually from the future, so he's trying to work out is it today or yesterday for him. How that far in the future do you reckon I am? 20 minutes. <laughs> Only 20 no, minutes. I, don't know. I can't believe you guys far. haven't mentioned that I'm wearing an NBA hat. Yeah, I know. Go Celts yeah. on the bandwagon. Um, Who's your favourite? Paul Zingas? Paul Dingus. No. Dingus. Um, what's his name? Uh, Channing. Channing Tatum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's quite good. Yeah. He's quite good in Magic Mark. Jason <laughs> Jason with a Y. Magic Jace. Jason Tatum. Yeah. What was the Tatum? Dredrick Tatum. Dredrick Tatum. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, no. I only uh, full disclosure. I go for Boston because I have a dog called Boston. Um, yeah, well, that's okay. I like the green colours because there's not enough green in a lot of sports. So. Yeah, well, it's yeah. a good it's a good one to pick up because they're playing quite well. So yeah. Um, yeah, they're a good team. Boston. Yeah, but they got rid of Marcus Smart, Marcus who was the most Smart. Boston person ever. Yeah, he was. That's going to sound good on the pod. Uh, Big Noah. I don't think it'll be too loud. It just sounds like Sunday. That's pretty much what it sounds like. Sunday, yeah. bloody Sunday. Yeah. How oh, good. They didn't want to offer him a beer to stop either. No, why well, don't I don't want to offer any of these beers? If we've got a, if we've got a cart and draft or something, it might keep <laughs> me away. It'll keep me away. Um, anyway, <laughs> what do we do? Me off. What's what's up next? What do we got? Oh yeah, we're Just moving through them quick. Well, but I'm thirsty. Actually, I have two Carlton dries in my fridge that came home with me on Mad Monday. Don't remember why or how. Yeah, well, don't know when they're being drunk or by whom. Probably the wire is more what I'm concerned about, Zach. Yeah. The okay. wire. The wire. Show the wire. <laughs> that is a good show. Let us Again, you've seen it. Oh, we've had this conversation a number of times on here. You have to watch it. Yeah, it's great. Um, do you reckon next week there'll be a snake live on the pod coming through that grass? I hope so. Oh, no, I'm going to mow at the Savo. Yeah, fair enough. Going to weed whack it. I would, I'd the love only to snake that'll be live on the pod if Simo gets his shorts on. Way. I'd love to do a pod where a big snake just rolls in and we have to keep recording and pretend it's not happening. And like talk towards the microphone so the fans don't miss out on and our don't great look, podcast. Don't look, in the, don't look it in the eye. Yeah, don't look it in the eye. It'll fucking tell you off. Now, sure just from the pour of this, it looks it pours like a classic West Coast. Yeah, well, interestingly, well, it's, English. it's English. Oh, okay. Which is something that I probably... Um, Thank you. I don't know. If we probably had something similar, but I thought, oh, well, that's something different to try. So I'll give that a give that a whirl. Does this have East Kent Goldings in it? It probably does. I can tell you. I reckon it would. Does no, it I can't taste like Rogers? You, sorry. Oh, hang on. I probably could tell you. Displaying all the character of the IPAs of yesteryear, rich malt profile with characteristic Challenger hop flavors, spicy, straw-like with marmalade undertones. Reminds me of marmalade on toast. Delicious. Um, so it's six point two percent, three seventy five mil can. That was ten dollar redos from Hopheads. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I do taste that marmalade. Marmalade, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, does it have East Kent Golding in it? Didn't say. Oh, let's let's have it. Can you have it? We'll have a tap. There's just we'll something about the smell that rem- we've we've done enough on the pod now where um, that smell was reminding me of uh, something like that. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh. This is tough. It's tough to rate. Oh, hard straight. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay, I guess. I'm um, just going um, first reaction. Yeah, okay. That's probably it's probably the best way to do it. Really, because if I overthink it, then I'm like, I don't know. I just want to get away from being like, oh well, I gave this beer a three point seven five, and I like this more, so yeah. I'm going to give it a four point two five. Because then you just get yourself in a, <coughs> like, I get myself in a worry that like this week I'll give something a four and it's like oh last week I preferred it but I only gave it 3.75 and yeah. it's like well that's just yeah, the way the cookie crumbles you you gotta, do we have a factor price factor in emotion yeah ten dollars ten. Oh, ten. Oh, okay. ten okay ten doll hairs would you like me to read you some well, more stuff yep yeah. read me all the stuff please cool so more stuff about Bacchus the breweries opened in 2005 under Glenn and Karen Pope as a blue uh, blue Brew on-premise style uh, brewery, creating budget price replicas of commercial beers for the public. In 2010, the brewery is acquired by our current owner, 
Ross Kendrick, um, when the focus was switched to creating our own brand of quality craft beers. For four years, they concentrated on perfecting their craft while supplying kegs to bars and to the public. In April 2014, they were awarded runner-up champion small Australian brewery um, at the International Beer Awards, Australian International Beer Awards in August of the same year that they decided to open their bar and cellar door at the brewery. Their beers can now be enjoyed at the brewery um, from 20 dedicated taps and a huge variety of cans while watching the brewers at their craft during the day. We're also a cellar door to the Granite Belt's oldest and one of the best wineries, oh, Ballandine Estate Wines. There you go, must be... Nice. Must be up around that region as well, nearby. I'll cross that off because I've read that, so I won't read it again. <laughs> That's the beauty of that. I actually love the old school approach with this. Can't do that on a bloody computer, can you? Hey? Well, you can, you but then you won't be able to it. see it very well if you That's text true. her across yeah. the front of it. Yeah, that's true, because I would probably do it in that way. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. What do you reckon, boys? I'm Bruce? sweaty. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm sweaty. Is it making you sweat, the beer is? Maybe. Uh, I gave it a really strong as advertised score, um, and untapped, I've given it a four. It almost, if I did a blind tasting, I, I nearly nearly wouldn't say IPA, but there is just that hint of um, bitterness at the end. Would you say it's an ESB? Could be. Actually, yeah, it's some, interesting that you say bad. that. Or like an yeah. amber ale. Yeah. What, what, were you, what were you thinking before I said that? Um, well, I was going to say, yeah, the, the malt marmalade, pro, when that was the first thing I got. Um, that's mm. why I gave it the strong as advertised. Yeah. Um, that's more prominent. So, yeah, that... But it, at no point does it also taste like a red IPA, which is usually oh, what we okay. say. To me, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it, a real classic beer style, almost, yeah, like an English. Because um, you, you get that difference between English and American style, like pale ales. And yeah. usually the English one has more of this sort of character. So, mm. yeah, I guess it is an, yeah, an ale in that case. No, it's bloody delicious. Um, IBU wise, can we fit in another beer? Because otherwise, this would be quite. We're just smashing them down. We're like, yep, good, yep, good. Just well, hang good. on. With the, ba- with the info there you had about their brew pub, you probably may not have looked it up, but they do like food and everything else and like a big... I believe so. Yeah. I didn't look up too much. Oh, that's that. okay. You I would suggest that they did. Oh, I'm always interested in what like places... <laughs> but th- this being quite a... Uh, I would say this is quite fancy and if they're near that wine region, sometimes I wonder if places are doing standard brewery pub fair or other places, you know, if they're in like a nice area or they're doing things... More upmarket because Deeds is quite upmarket with the food, I believe, aren't they? It's very it makes upmarket. me so uncomfortable there. Yeah, because it's like I want to get shit faced, and then it's like, oh, it's so fancy. <laughs> it's like, oh, this t shirt, and then you're like, it's got a hole in it. And I never noticed that hole in my t shirt before I came in. Oh, I thought you were going to be in the bathroom <sighs> stall. So you didn't notice that hole oh, in here. Whoa, no, just to. Um, Your mate Grazzi, second. Sorry, I've just been watching the V8s while yeah. you guys were Davey. Talking. Oh, we got V8s on again. Yeah. There you go. Love it. Gold Coast 500. Couple of wheels off the road. I couldn't think of Looked two, like the two worst the things paired together: Gold what? Coast and V8s. Yeah, his <laughs> oh, yeah. mirror hit the wall. That was good. Didn't, God, didn't, didn't need that one. Oh, yep, she spun all the way around. Very good. Uh, the whole family's up there, except us. We're just here. Yeah, that's all right. No, it's good. Anyway. No, no, this is cool. Yeah, my cousin's playing golf instead of going to the V8s. Too hot. I'd never go outside if I lived in Queensland. Oh, oh yeah, you hate to get too curly. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And also, like a lot of it's centered around swimming at the beach or in pools and stuff. So nah, yeah, it's pretty pretty tough going. Good bro, just go I wonder how many people wear their Nikes on the beach there. <laughs> Not many. I reckon I'd be one of the one of the one of the few. One of the few, but you know, I take pride in it. There's enough breweries to park yourself at. Hey, park up and get a drink with us here. Nah, I won't even finish that. But if you know that quote, please seek it out. I don't. I don't. Maybe I have to. You say don't it. No. say it. No, don't say it. I know it. You okay, don't it. say it. All right. Thank you very much. Now, what's this one? This one I'm excited by, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> this is a big boy. This, this is monumental. Oh. Oh. oh Chalk mint pastry stout. Oh, mate. 13.1%. Now, obviously, it sounds like a Kiwi person saying monumental. No. Well, that, but it's monumental because it's mint. Yeah. No, it's good. But it's funny because, like, the chalk mint... It reminds me of Choc Mint ice cream and locally on the border we have Monumental. We do. So I was just like, oh, that's cool. And what's the new one called again? Uh, I don't mentioned know. I refuse to uh, acknowledge it. Oh. Support local, Zach. I support local... Uh, local whippersnipping. Yeah, local whippersnipping. Well, I think that's the whi- a chainsaw. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, well, they started that because we started talking about the non-local ice cream read. They yeah, were like, damn. no, cut it out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, 
I think that in the background would actually be nice for people at work because it will remind them of the weekend that was and perhaps the weekend that will be the next weekend. You know, it just sounds like the weekend. Put out a disclaimer, yeah, don't listen to this podcast on a weekday, you'll get sad. Yeah. yeah. Smell that. Too strong. Well, I don't know if I've told you yeah. guys. Like, I, I usually listen back to our pod um, in the morning yeah. when, it, when we upload it. And <coughs> even if it's a Tuesday morning or a Wednesday morning, I always feel like a beer after it. Yeah, so well, I'm hoping that everyone else at least dangerous. also feels the same. Yeah. Well, I reckon um, George, every time she listens, she feels like buying 10 beers because she sends me through her haul. Have you been sent more? No, I haven't been sent any more. But George, send him some more beers. No, George, you bloody sent me enough, mate. But she, she's... I reckon she could that open time her you own... sent her some beers. I know, it is. I reckon she could open her own bottle of... Oh, that's coming down. Oh, they're What's that? The tree down. Down. What's oh. that, an oleander or something? You know that we don't know the answer. Yeah. Nah, but like, the maybe, answer, like, you guys will help me. Maybe they're going to make some tea out of that and um, poison their spouse. Well. Do you, and do you know the leaves of the oleander, oleander tree are actually poisonous? Um, so have to be quite, if you digest them or yeah. if you touch them. No, so if, you, um, if, you, if you're cutting that tree, right, and you get a few scratches, like, yeah, it can get, you can feel quite sick. Into Should the bloodstream. Yeah. Should blood we let him know? No. No, no hopefully no. he'll collapse and stop making a racket. Oh. <laughs> Nah, he should be right. It we looks like it's not his first ride, yeah. Um, so, this, oh. mo- this monumental stout has been <laughs> infused with rich dark chocolate and pure mint to create a perfect balance in aroma and flavour. Intense but smooth and decadent. The perfect after-dinner liquid treat. Oh. Except it's lunchtime. I'd love to find one of these on my pillow, an after-dinner mint, <laughs> hey? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it's just a can of that. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, put you to, it'll put you to sleep. A poured sure. out can of that? Yeah, well, I don't care how it comes. God. These that's one of the best smelling beers. It's liquid after-dinner drink. Oh, my goodness. Is it Holy awesome? shit, it smells good. As a kid, my favourite chocolate biscuit was a mint slice. So, like, I'm just having flashbacks, but it's got alcohol in it now. That's awesome. Oh, my God. That's so... <laughs> it's five. Five. I've... Um, value, just quickly, before Zach throws his mic out the window. Um, 17.50. But it is 13%. My biggest is it five ever. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Far out. 13%. Actually, yeah. I'm going to have to dry myself out. Before I'm going to finish this and go tell that guy off. Yeah. And just be like, mate, let me... What do you think this is? Let me have this. Was us? Why would you say it like that? Was us? Was us? Because I feel like if I did approach... So- if is? I approach somebody in a violent manner like that, I couldn't use my own voice because I wouldn't feel... Okay. <laughs> no, it's interesting. Come um, on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that off. Was us? <laughs> Uh, I reckon that's got to be my highest rated one. I'm giving it a good value score despite the high price because as just a one-off, this is like, yeah. But it's yeah. a high price, but it's a big beer. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But also because you, you'd you rarely find something like this. Oh, actually, I'm going to change quality. my first one. You're a fucking nightmare. Well, that is true. <laughs> be that as it may. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's one of the best beers I've ever had in my life. These Thank guys, you very much, Brackets. Th- this is in no way, shape or form a dig at their... Um, visual artists at all because I see the style they're going for all the beer cans look the same just with the different thing on the bottom but these are like cool unique can arts away from being like our top rated brewery yeah I reckon well, from yeah. an overall like border barrels rating perspective yeah. I reckon well I can give you those updates after Simo gives us some, some more info yeah definitely so I've got some fast facts if you're interested fast facts so Bacchus with their prolific bloody um, brewing um, it's taken out the Gabs People Choice, uh, People's Choice Award twice. So oh. this is, I haven't got up to date information um, whether I've uh, had it since. Um, but first in 2013 for their raspberry and white chocolate pilsner, which hearts had time to get. So I apologise for that. And then in 2016, what? Did I? yeah, you did. Oh. Two th- 2016 for their peanut brittle goza. Um, if I'd have known, I would have got that pilsner. I think you made that. Uh, that. I was like, this is what I'm going to do. And then he messaged, said, get this. And then I had an idea in my head and went with it. So That's okay. You got this. Yeah. Well, I was always, that's what it started with. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. getting that one for sure. Boom, boom. Um, so they moved from bottles to cans in late 2020. A little late to the party as they brew so many unique beers. And most of the canning lines were built for bright tank size batches rather than kegs. So that's why um, they moved. Um, There's a bit of a late move to cans. Um and as mentioned, some of these super unique... 
I wonder how loud that is coming through. Well, you're the one with headphones, so tell us. Yeah, but like it always mixes down a little bit. But anyway, um, we apologise if it's. It doesn't seem to be doing shit. anything to the thing. Oh, no, it's not too bad, but that's all right. Um, yeah. So what do we got? As mentioned, uh, they brew some of the most unique beers, including puppetry of the peanuts pastry oh, stout. Yeah. Grand Turismo churro <laughs> stout. Nice. Um, Melanage a trois <laughs> is another one. And um, I have to mention Jmango Unstrained Fruited <laughs> Sour. <laughs> what is <a> Jmango? <laughs> ja- like Django. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's so funny. That's, that's, yeah. So when I started reading that, I'm like, oh, bugger. I just got a, I got one that was just a standard IPA, but it was bloody delicious. So I'm glad. I, I like that it. we did that though, because we do go through some pretty interesting uh, brews on this pod. And to do a unique brewery, but also look at what they do from more of a simplified version of a beer. And they're not even that simplified, really, um, from yeah. the explanations. There's still, still a fair bit of work and thought put into them. No, but jeez, oh, this is good. This is so good. What a day. Do I'm you want some stats? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'll, I'm not going to do the can art leaderboard because they all got, what, 3.5s-ish from everyone. Um, they're not going to win Canna, basically, is all I'm saying. But the monumental Choc Mint Pastry Stout on the untapped leaderboard is number one. Is it the first unanimous five, or have yes. we had one other? No, it's the only unanimous five. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, Simon. Well done. The Hopnado, well done, Hopnado Tropical IPA came in at 30. Yep. We actually were unanimous with every score t- in Untapped today. Really? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And then the Challenger IPA comes in at 63. Yeah. Um, awesome. So just for reference, we've now had 98 beers. Oh. Border Barrels leaderboard, the Monumental is third. So imagine if they did sl- like just a bit of can art. They yeah. would have won. Yeah. Easy. Do you yeah. What is that? What? Sorry. What are the overall... Should we go to the overall top five? We've gone through this No, we'll do it at the end of the year. Yeah. We'll do our awards. Awards night. And we have to... That's not bad. We have to drink the top five. If you can find them. If we can find them. And if we're able to stomach them, because they're all... all They'll all be stouts. Yeah, they'll all be stouts. Um, (laughs) Hopnado, 56, and Challenger IPA, 61. Yeah, that's good. Um, One one thing I have to say, and I want to discuss, hot take... So, yeah, you mentioned, like, all of our top brews will be stout. But when I think of beers, I'm sort of not thinking of a stout. No. So, it's almost like they're two different things. Like, you know, and um, you know, a beer's a beer's a stout, stout, but it's all, all the same deal. But it is, it is funny that, like, you know, the big beers that people want to try at Gabs and that sort of thing are always a stout because I think they just... I think that as advertised, they're probably a little bit closer for stouts and yeah. you can just get, you can get real jazzed for it. Um, well, it's just full of flavour because they tend to be heavier beers yeah. as well. Like there's no <coughs> no hiding from the flavour, you know what I mean? No, far out, so bloody like good. Like this is just chalk mint. Yeah, that's also, liquid. Also, I don't know if you guys agree, but we're talking about the depth of the first beer um, and the, the filling nature of it. I somehow think this tastes less boozy than yeah. the, the, the Hopnado IPA that we had. But yeah. it's definitely, Somehow. It's definitely... It's almost half. The percentage. My guts definitely know it's there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, definitely. Oh. But yeah, I find that as well. Like I'll buy, like say I buy four IPAs and four stouts. Three, like three of the stouts will sit there for a month and the four IPAs will sit there for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like I always just tend to drink them because it's like, oh, it's, I, I think it's like less of a commitment to like, a, then you go for a big stout and it's just like, I'm in for the long yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the haul is not long enough and then you just end up on your backers. On your backers. Nice. Well right? done. What do you reckon? I um, thought you were going to... Keanu backers. Keanu backers. So I'm going to... Oh, putting no. ass into everything. I thought you were going to say back ass at some point. Ass. Um, let's have a look. Now, we, we respect these guys more than to make ass references, I think. Oh, here we go. $15 oh. flat rate shipping. Order 12 items for free shipping. We'll have back to, us. Yeah, so just letting everyone know. Do they sell singles? Yeah, they do, definitely. Oh. Yeah, 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 they absolutely do singles, yeah. So. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe we have a Bacchus Christmas party this yeah. year. Oh, jeez, we won't have to. Like, look at this, it's I pumpkin pie. I wouldn't finish all the beers. So, <laughs> no, I'd back me to do it and then just, like, die in your bloody um, Fergus' doghouse. Again. Afterwards. Hallow- Halloween beers are here. What have we got? Pumpkin pie, 
Um, what <laughs> did you think? What I thought? Hello. I thought you were doing a Swedish hello. And you said hello. Halloween. Hello. Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween's is here. Um, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin ale. Um, what have we got? Jaffo Lantern. Oh, oh, how good. Um, oh, it's an IPA. 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 Um, pumpkin pie imperial porter. Eight point nine percent. Peter Piper picked. Oh, there's more. There's an arrow. So there must oh, there's be an more arrow. Halloweenies. Of course well, there, there is. Oh no, there's a pack. Uh, of can I ask you guys about pack. Halloween real quick? Have you had anyone like leave any notes in the mailbox or let you know about? Hey, like there'll be trick or treaters in the area. If you're not partaking, that's fine. Just like leave a note that says. No candy or like, don't put a balloon up or whatever. Because like our our estate out there is like getting into it heaps. So oh, really? we've had to prepare. I was gonna mm. say yeah, I didn't get a note. They just did the trick straight away and stole the license plates off my car. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> That's yeah. pretty. Oh, two weeks ago. So, is anyone remembers from last year the pod, the car's been stolen? Yeah, yeah. Before. The car was stolen and returned to me, and they came back for just the plates. It's so stolen. I sh- yeah. assume that there's a crime being committed with your license plates on the vehicle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you, you had you had a chicken and the egg <laughs> sort of uh, scenario where both the chicken and the egg were involved in at separate times. Um, there you go. Very yeah, good. it forced me to change my rego to New South Wales as well. Finally. Which meant I had to go get a roadworthy and a service. Oh, what happened? And everything. How, how were the tyres? Uh, I had to replace two of them. Yeah, you thought so. Yeah, yeah. so um, so I woke up Sunday morning carefree, thinking I'm going to mow the lawns today, and I went to bed Sunday afternoon knowing that I had to spend over $1,000. Oh, yeah, it's pretty tough. <laughs> New South Wales... Um, Rego and all that, it's pretty expensive. Yeah, I think it, it like it doesn't work out to be all that much different. It's just the roadworthy, but um, it's just that Vic Vic do That's, it all in one there's payment. No, there's no way. Whoa. Like, Timber. Hope he's, un- hope he's under it. I reckon we might need to cut this short and do a public apology video. Yeah, we might. Or maybe Simon has to buy all the beers again. And yeah, we, we do a re-record. Six pack of bloody, twelve pack of monumental, please. Monumental, oh, absolutely. That's bloody monumental. That'd make me monumental. What do we got? I'm going to go through a couple of these. Hayes for days. Uh, list. What do we got? Very good. <laughs> PT PT blinders. Hey. Nice. Oh, hang on, what is the PT blinders? Oh, I'll, I'll bloody let you know. It's a smoke big, something. It's a big old bottle. Isn't it just your mate do, in ha- yeah. doing a Halloween thing? PT blinders. Oh, okay. So, um, can I do, just before you read that out? Oh yeah, all right. No, because he I asked the question and he's like, "If you wouldn't mind <laughs> shutting up, for no, a because, because I'll shut, forget shut your mouth." Yeah. You, you've referenced the mate, but I said that I would, uh, like, "Oh yeah, I'll definitely read that out," and like, <laughs> I, I, I will not go into the story because it's not f- safe for our podcast. But I was by our mate with, of that name. I was sent some beer news. He's like, you "Read this out in the pod." Some really cool beer news. There's some online gamer chick who started brewing beer with the yeast from a certain part of her body. Oh. And I'm like, I don't oh. think I can read this story out, but if you'd like to seek it out, you could probably Google, I guess, Game yeast. Gamer Girl Beer Yeast and don't put the body part in. <laughs> Jeez. Well, there you go. I guess it's, it is 2023. Um, oh, yeah, it's fine. Like, you know, you do worse you. worse off for knowing that, though, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is one of those things, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so... Petey Blinders. Petey Blinders. <laughs> um... Um, <laughs> get, you got to get in the gaps. Yeah, we just yeah, an interrupting right. cow. <laughs> oh dear. Twenty twelve. No. We I'm brewed. I'm just going to close it. You reckon? Well, I don't. It won't change anything. It'll be no. It'll be nah. Don't do it. It'll be so hot in here. I reckon. <laughs> Border barrel is if, coming to you live you from that, a lumber field. If you say that yeah. someone's been assaulted and had a chainsaw as a weapon, it's us. Yeah, we, we, we did it. Yeah, it turned it on himself. Hello, that's the guy that stole your license plates. We should go get him. You can have him. <laughs> you can have him. You've got new ones now. So it was a, um, what have we got? 2012 we brewed and aged a dark Berliner Weiss. Oh. Um, in an Ishley whiskey barrel for four years. The beer was then removed from the barrel and sell it for a further six years. The smoky pooty um, flavours in the beer are 100% from the barrel aging. The beer is, um, has developed beautiful complexity over the years. So it's That's great. beer 10 years in the making. Yeah, How much is go. it? Um, okay or don't? No, <laughs> I'll tell you. 27 bucks. Is that it? Yeah. In a big bottle it's too. It's for a Magnum. Yeah. So, oh, is that a size? Um, breakfast at Tiffany's is, is one. Um, what have we got? 
Um, yeah, puns are Ginny Hendrix. Ginny Hendrix, that's pretty good. Cherry Vibe. Um, Holy Moly. Um, high Tea. What have we got? Lamington Dark Ale. <laughs> that's not bad. Funny. Oh, come on, sorry. Root to the Beat. Not bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come oh. on. Um, the complete and utter desolation of s'more. Is that a milk s'more stout? Or yeah, something? I reckon it is. You can you can definitely tell that this episode's been short because he was just filling it. Oh, oh no, no, sorry, sorry but no, I, like, I, mean, I, I actually have, have something to finish it. up on I that I've never it. noticed, despite the fact I've seen Simo's shirt a billion times. Yeah, what? Yulies. Brew. I didn't know Batuta Yulies Bitter. Brewery actually brewed the Batuta Bitter. I'd always wondered. I'd never seen the Yulies logo on. He just I, knows I just, the... I just, yeah, I didn't notice that either. <laughs> there you go. It makes sense. That's why it's good beer. Here's a recommendation. Yulies, uh, Amanda Mandarin. <laughs> yeah. A really, yeah. really lovely IPA that you can get pretty uh, uh, in an affordable price. They've got like price. three places now. They're in Alexandria, New South Wales, Byron Bay, and Surrey Hills. I never... Grazzi, you've just uncovered. I've got the shirt. Look how worn it is. I bloody yeah. love this shirt. I never noticed that. I don't know that. why I haven't noticed that either. That's a weird. I've enjoyed a few Yulies. How come they've last. done the Batuta bitter? Because th- isn't Batuta meant to be a Queensland thing? Um, Maybe they uh, reached out to a few and some weren't interested and then they went uh, a little bit south of the Queensland border. Oh, they might have reached out to them. Who knows? But um, Possibly. It makes sense because it's an excellent beer. I was kind of shocked when I had it. I was yeah. like, oh, this is actually quite good. I didn't know. I didn't was the first that. time we had it at... In Wagga, when we saw North Lane with At our friend Brandon. Yeah, we went to... We and that went, guy hit his head on the roof. Yeah, he did. <laughs> we went to the Sportsman's Hotel um, there on Gerwood Street and had a had a little uh, schooner. Of, oh, you didn't even have a silver bullet. No, we didn't. But I did buy a six-pack. Dondi was... Uh, Brandon, our friend, was double parked with Jim Beam Cans at his first ever metal core gig, which was cool. He saw a bloke get knocked out in the pit in the first five minutes. Yes. And then some dude hit the roof <laughs> also. So that was pretty good. Eventful. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what else we got? Anything? No, thanks. Well, you sh- back us. I was going to say, you shouted out um, a local legend, uh, Mountain Monk, with their new beers. Uh, Simon and I actually went to a little event uh, at the Goods Shed. Oh, one it was of a our favourites. Oh, awesome event. Yeah. Uh, so on good. Thursday night, um, Bridge Road were having their posse party. Um, that was on. Yeah, and we, we got we a bloody down, invite. It was pretty And they exciting. had um, three beers on tap that the brewer... Talk through the first one was the Thialized West Coast yeah. IPA, which is uh, Simon. Very was good it served beer. in a glass or a plastic cup? Yeah, it was just uh, one of those red cups uh, that, that had already that had already had um a something ping pong in, ball yeah in bourbon it. bourbon in it beforehand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, a, f- a ping pong ball that was recently thrown on the floor. No, so um, Good Shed don't do that sort of thing. Um, they realise that their beers um, taste best out of glass, <laughs> and they don't risk it. Uh, don't risk annoying their patrons. Imagine charging. I assume you bought a beer for $16. probably sixty. Yeah, just to have it in a plastic cup and taste like dog shit, even though the beer's fantastic. Yeah, and it's because this place attracts a crowd that uses glass as weapon. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, continue yeah. on your good... Um, uh, but yeah, Thialize West Coast, uh, we had the Spectrum Pale Ale, which yep. was incredible. Yeah, it was very good. Uh, and then the Strawbanero, um, which as it's pretty self-explanatory, a strawberry habanero. Um, what was the... It was a cerveza, wasn't yeah, it? it was a Mexican oh, lager. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Bit of that going on So the what, it, what mm. it is, is we, f- we learn um, the Strawbanero. You know when you go to Bridge Road and they've got that... Um, the test tap it looks like a warning like the yellow and black test dummy logo you would have seen like a this is for Zach's reference I'm not going to put it in the video yeah if you've been there and you're listening like to this that, you may know you oh, know yeah, yeah. it's on their taps yeah. so what that is I thought it was always just the brewer doing a beer that he wanted to do he actually goes to a a, a staff member and goes what do you think we should do and they go oh I want to do this beer so the straw banero was uh, one of the bar staff that now works down in Brunswick at the new Bridge Road uh, venue and she was like, oh, I've always wanted to do a st- Strawbanero beer and he picked Cerveza, was that right? I think so. that was the, the base. best base for yeah. it. Um, yeah, so that's what they are, is just a member of their staff. T- that's awesome. Each time goes, oh, I want to do this and the brewer go- works out how to do it. I wonder if that's ever existed though, like a Strawbanero um, Mexican yeah. Don't know. Cerveza. It's pretty like cool. Like you said, it's the it's that start. There's that yeah. base is the best for it. But yeah. And can you I t- can I tell you the the craziest <laughs> thing about it, Gratz? It wasn't bad. I'm sure it was good. Yeah, it like was spicy. Yeah, it was oh. spicy. But what I liked, I think, if it was like here's a beer we brewed, I reckon I'd have it. I'd be like, oh, not sure. 
But with the backstory, I'm like, oh yeah, that's bloody good. Yeah, that's, cool. You know, that's a good good attempt. And at if that. they put the spectrum in cans, I'd buy six slabs right now. Yeah, no, they're very good. Um, um, but so anyway, yeah, yeah, they've good shit. they've released a new beer in cans <laughs> um, <laughs> that we might have to feature on a podcast at some point. Yeah, we might definitely. just drink and chat about it. Yeah, um, but it's the new little hazy. Yeah, little hazy. Oh, yeah, three point five. We love little hazy. Care also, yeah. uh, we did a little hazy from Seeker. Um, on the pod and yep. my dad I bought some for him and he keeps raving about it it's one of his new favourite beers yeah. so there you go a man in his 70s 3.4% uh, little hazy from Bridge Road if you want to go out and get it it's in a, uh, a what colour is that aqua teal teal yeah. teal can yeah, it's quite nice um, yeah it is really nice um, Simon and I had it for the first time actually last night yep. at the uh, North East Food and Wine Festival nice. in Wodonga yep I also reckon, as a recommendation, the other way, I reckon they should redo, they could almost redo the other beers in that same font and font and style. Well, they kind of have, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Somewhat. They the kind bling. of have, but like I reckon Little Blink could use that. that that'll look pretty good. Um, anyway, yeah, we're excited to give that a crack. We'll give that a crack soon. We might have a bloody Friends of uh, Border Barrels... Um, special pod, pod. special yeah. pod, and just try a few of the beers that we've um, been been given over. Very, over. very lucky. To yeah, have been we're given, so lucky. You. And yeah, thanks. We don't deserve it. That's for sure. No, that's we all don't. I'm saying we do not deserve the generosity yeah. that uh, has been afforded. Who are our to three us? best friends? It's probably Bridge Road. Um, no, Mountain you can't. Mark I can't list them. You can't. Hargraves. Well, they're three I can think of off the top of my head, of course. Oh, yeah, oh. but you don't want to say your best friends. Cause no, I want to bring MySpace days back where you actually oh. ranked your friends. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do remember You always that. put your, your girlfriend as your uh, number one and then your favourite band second and then you just like went free for all for the rest. Yeah. And that guy, yeah, I had to have that guy. Who was the Tom. guy? Tom. Tom. MySpace yeah. Tom. Yeah, Tom was always there. So. Yeah. Yeah, very good. <laughs> anyway, why I created it so we could have best friends. <laughs> so today we had some really good beers from Bacchus. They do some really, uh, as I said, like, um, I got a, I got accused of filling, but I was just... I was, no, no, nah. no. I was, I was just excited because the there, there are heaps of awesome, unique beers and they do a shitload of them all the time. So look into those guys. Um, go in with a couple of friends and you might get 12 and free shipping. Um, or if you're George, you might just get 12 and it's free for shipping yourself. anyway for yourself. Um, but yeah, I would recommend um, looking those guys up. They're really good beers. And yeah, number one on, was that untapped or? Yep, yes. Our number one untapped, number one beer, untapped beer. With fives all, all Five, round. Yeah, fives all round. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Thank you to Bacchus uh, for brewing those. And um, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to you guys for drinking it. We'll see you yeah. next week for beer number 100. Whoa. Whee. Far outside, alright Wanna see us falling overboard You can come over, bring your best friend, let's head back to shore